Vino. A very windy day is on the way for all of Idaho. There is a high wind warning in effect today for the Snake River Plain, also the eastern half of the Magic Valley. Beginning at noon today, we could see gusts up to 55 miles per hour, so windy no matter where you're headed, even for the rest of eastern Idaho. That isn't under a high wind warning. You are under a wind advisory. That's for the area shaded in yellow. We'll see gusts up to 50 miles per hour, so that'll make traveling really difficult today no matter where you're headed, especially across the Snake River Plain where we could see air Areas of blowing dust. That's why there is a blowing dust advisory in effect for the upper and also the lower Snake River Plain. Where you see blowing dust today, visibility could be reduced from about a quarter to even just under a mile. So be aware of that for today, especially if you're going to be traveling. I really do anticipate we could see a few road closures as well, typically from about Idaho Falls northward. So something to keep in mind for today. Fortunately, it's not windy just yet across the Snake River Plain. Wind speeds just in the single digits across our area. Looks like Twin Falls is already starting to see those winds crank up. And I want to time out those winds for you. Notice 7 o'clock this morning again. Just a light breeze out there, but right around noontime, the winds start to pick up, especially across the eastern half of the Magic Valley, right along that I-15 corridor. And they'll continue to increase as you move into the afternoon hours. This is just sustained wind speeds, right over 30 miles per hour. That's when we could see those really strong gusts up to 55 miles per hour. And then by about 7 o'clock tonight, again, the winds still continue to be on the windy side. And then as we move into the later half of the evening, into the overnight, the winds will be decreasing. Looking outside for this morning across McCammon, mostly cloudy to start off the morning. And that's the way we'll stay at least throughout most of the morning hours. But clouds are a good thing this time of year, keeping us a bit warmer. Notice we're in the 40s and the 50s. Some areas actually in the 60s. 53 right now in Poker. Tello, we're at 43 across Idaho Falls, Boise and Twin Falls waking up to those lower 60s. And the reason for all those winds today, we will have a cold front that'll pass through notice well out to our west. That will start to make its way through our area by about midday. And then behind it, we will see some clearing out there. So once these clouds pass through, I think we'll see some sunshine for the afternoon. But we will see a lot of winds later on today. And the central mountains could even see a chance for showers and also for some thunderstorms. High temperatures today will be just a couple degrees cooler compared to what they were yesterday. We'll be into the 60s and the 70s for the Snake River Plain, 60s across the highlands into the western half of Wyoming. And then for tonight, with the clear skies and the decreasing winds, as that cold front passes through, temperatures tonight will be much cooler for the Snake River Plain. Many areas drop below freezing, and even for the western half of Wyoming, temperatures tonight drop below freezing as well. For your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers, seven day forecast, we will be sunny for tomorrow into the weekend. The weekend's looking really nice, 70s and lower 80s. Chance of showers and storms next Monday and Tuesday. The same is true across the Idaho Falls area as well. We will see a chance for those showers and storms early next week. Across the Teton area, expect to see a partly cloudy sky today. Windy for your area as well, and even across the central mountains. Chance of showers and storms today with the winds cranking up into this afternoon.